nonsense, Faustus. Now you want to tell me just what the hell is so important? Sleeping mother. Sacred Harbinger. Awaken and reclaim what is yours. You who rise with the moon in darkness. Who prepares the path for the midnight sun. Turn your merciless eyes upon us. And arise! Nice show, Doc. Next time, call Zemo. Better yet, I'll just shoot you and save us all the trouble. I can feel it, Rox. Trouble in the air. More innocent blood joining you soon. <laughs> Head back to your magic castle. You ain't welcome here. It's called a sanctum. And welcome or not, this is where fate has determined the Sorcerer Supreme needs to be. Tell fate answers no. This is the secret guardian you dragged me 5,000 miles to meet? Who's the mouth? Mr. Stark is brash, but I assure you, he can be trusted. Wait, you seriously don't know who I am? The fabric of magic is shifting, Johnny. The prophecy of the Midnight Sun is upon us. Your last crusade cost me plenty. This time, I intend to look after my own. Hey, pal, I don't think you understand. Things are changing. Two plus two no longer equals four. Up is sometimes down, and strange here is actually starting to make sense. Do I look like someone who gives a damn about any of that? No, you look like you should be bouncing for the double deuce. Listen, all I know is hell's coming, and my pal here says you can help. That's where you're wrong. Hell's not coming. It's already here. You're welcome, Robo-Man. Um, Iron Man? It's okay. It's fine. I know what he meant. We come all the way out here, and the old man runs off with that precious page of yours. Uh, could have at least left us some VIP passes for the carnival. Maybe blown up a few monsters on the way out? Johnny Blaze has sacrificed a great deal for this world already. I am certain he will come around given time. Thought you said time was the one thing we didn't have. Uh, all right, let's just wrap this up. I got sand in my nanopolymer weave. Do it. Oh, that? It was nothing. Sure, why not? Hey, it worked, didn't it? 
Am I really gonna have to bring out the big guns for this? I'm saving my energy so you need it. And still reigning world heavyweight champion, Iron Man. your chances. That suit may be a marvel of technology, but it's no match for the mystic arts. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, so it's a contest now. Then you take the extra. Glad. scare off these so-called children of Lilith. <laughs> Lilith doesn't care about you. I hope you realize that in time. You have no idea how angry you've made my cloak. Perhaps there's a bounty on Sorcerer Supremes? Now that I have their attention, perhaps a blessing is in order. Something... protective? Well, I could give you a hand. Or a shield, in this case. In the spirit of cooperation, I'll accept your offer. Just this once. Huh, don't mention it. Great favor. Let's give it a go. I know that wasn't your signature move. Follow my movement. Easily fiend. I'm afraid the odds still aren't in your favor. I think we just come off. Got a spell for that, maybe? Interesting. A spell to change the very demeanor of our enemies. Something along the lines of the of Eros of Titan? If you can't make it happen in the next ten seconds, I'm not interested. Prepare yourself! Fair enough. I'm saving this for a special occasion. Who designed your armor? Because it looks like junk. 
And while you ponder arrows, maybe we should just try throwing a big rock at him? This should take off. He's coming in. Ready when you are, boss. Oh, well, I think that's the last of them, which is good. I might have told Pepper I was just stepping outside the restaurant to take a quick call. And yet I'm the one who's still single. I know that wasn't your signature move. If I'm being honest, that encounter went better than I expected. Tony, I've been noticing a recurring gamma spike. You see, this is why you shouldn't eat spicy food, Bruce. Localized in the West Village, converging on the Sanctum. Wanda. The collective works of the universe's greatest sorcerers and he left them underneath the takeout menus. Shifting mystical polarities are wreaking havoc on my portals. You don't say. You okay, kid? Yes. Are you? Let's, uh, put a pin in that. Oh. trying to reach you. He'd have come himself, but he's... Well, you did the big green guy proud. I really should up my homeowner's insurance. Miss Maxim, the wards of protection, if you please. Stephen, I can fight. I've got control now. Then show me by activating the wards. In the meantime, in honor of our missing companion, the rest of you may feel free to smash away. Oh, Hydra. See you brought some friends along. Nice one, Carol. Always the direct approach. You know I don't mess around. Besides, we picked up some crazy gamma readings coming from, well, here. Guessing that explains the Hydra goons and ominous green lights. Yes, but not while you fail to use the front door. Um, hi, how about we discuss proper hero landing etiquette after we take down the bad guys? This won't end. Interesting. I'm saving my energy till we... I hope Hydra has good insurance.
cover and service. They're not quite ready to give up just yet. Man looks good. Oh, but Davenport was at least a century old. What a waste. Proceed then. How do these guys just keep showing up? They are surprisingly relentless. In any event, we must press to activate the wards of protection. strongest heroes, right? Doesn't it seem like this should be easier? I've punched through scroll star cruisers that went down faster. Something's up. Yes, Hydra has clearly raised their game. I have a terrible suspicion as to how. Let's do it.
us something. Watch and learn, my friend. I truly doubt they're paying you enough for what's about to happen. No issues to report. Something. Someone. Gozer? Lilith. Mother of demons. Harbinger of the Midnight Sun. Prophecy or not, you overstep. Challenging the Sorcerer Supreme! Be silent! Be still! What just happened? Ow! Be gone! No! A fellow daughter of Transia. Me of my own beloved. In virtue de Santi! Well done, Miss Maximoff. Your unique energy surprised her. Whoa! I'm fine. What? I'm fine. The prophecy is in motion. Lilith is still out there growing stronger each second the Midnight Sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance of stopping her, there is only one option left to us. I won't go back there. We all must eventually face our demons, Miss Maximoff. However, one of us should remain behind to maintain the wards of protection. See you on the other side. Magic is unwinding. We are fortunate to be here at all. And where is here, exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. Well, a pocket dimension in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, suburbs. Nice. Welcome to the Abbey. Home of the Midnight Sun. What the hell is this? Lilith's Junior Demon League? Wait, it's that jerk from TV. Which one? Now, if everyone would just take a moment... Enough! You're standing on my flowers. Oh, in a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker now. If I could have avoided this moment, I would, but... Oh, spare me the speech. I know Lilith's back. We're sisters after all. <laughs> Guess we're suddenly invisible now. 
Shall we chat, Stephen? No one can argue that the Hunter earned their rest in the first battle against Lilith. I only hope they are up for the task once more. You wizards always make everything sound so lofty. I raised my sister's only child as a weapon against her. And saved the world in the process. Now you want me to dig them up and ask them to do it again. I did not write the prophecy, Sarah. Besides, I am no common grave robber. We are simply reuniting their ethereal essence with their corporal form. Speaking of, it would help to have a mental image for the procedure. Spare no detail. Spiritual identity theft is no laughing matter. spells are concerned, I've seen worse. Particularly on myself. Tony, come on. It's perfectly safe. That thing wakes up and takes a bite out of you. Don't blame me. Visiting hours are over. You can't stay here forever. There's nowhere else I should be. Just saw that Stark guy poking around behind the mirror table. Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade. Be nice. Always am. with every breath. Has it been so long? I know this place. In my dreams it was always empty. Sense. 
I am not alone. Have to admit, Hunter, you make one hell of an entrance. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. You will not live to regret your error. Cute, and caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer. I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes. I saw you with Sarah before. But what would she want with a vampire? Unless... The name's Blade, and I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission, but I thought you noticed since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A Dampir? Daywalkers were a myth, even to me. Says the half-human, half-demon monster hunter. You appear quite versed in my history, Dampir. Heard my fair share of stories from Caretaker. The legendary hunter. Child of Lilith. Last champion of the blood. Some call you angel, some demon. Probably a little of both. Led the Knights of Wondagore against the armies of darkness until you fell at... Fell? Shoot. This is why they don't normally have me do the meet and greets. I can see why. Right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, the others are really gonna love you. Others? Yeah, you've got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one. Did I miss something, or did Nico just raise the dead? I definitely helped, but no, that's the one thing I can't do. Hunter, not sure if you remember me, but we met briefly before. I'm- The witch who called me back from the grave. Told you. Or Nico, but neither works. And this is- Robbie Ray is. <laughs> oh man. Never thought I'd be standing next to you. Got quite a rep. I mean, caretakers told us stories. That's Eliana. Privet. And I think you already met Blade. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Whoa. How did you... Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So, welcome home. I guess we... I never left. Right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know. The Abbey. Basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and, uh, whatever the hell the forge is. Have to say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch, just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay. Spend ten minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. Oh, <clears throat> gotta go. Show us to begin. There isn't time for a refresher, much less that sort of training regime. You'll have to trust that the hunter's path... I too was recruited as a child into a calling of power and violence. 
So far, it has worked out well for me. Taking a big risk. I, I wonder if you ever ran into any of my predecessors back in the day. We, um, uh, tend to stand out. Welcome to the War Room, Hunter. You act as if I'm thrilled. Caretaker's home for wayward sorcerers, scientists, and slayers. Eh, sounds like something Doctor Strange would come up with. Easy for you to say. No signs of muscle atrophy. You seem pretty healthy for a reanimated corpse. You sure you're not a time-traveling robot? It's almost impossible to imagine the horror, the atrocities committed on these grounds all those years ago. Then again, we are less than 20 miles from Fenway Park. Nothing about a I imagine Caretaker will have a hard time putting you at risk so soon after your awakening, but I doubt Lilith will leave her much of a choice. Yeah? Tell that to Wanda. You following me, Doc? Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look... older. How long was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were... missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. <clears throat> yeah, so speaking of Lilith... Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony? That's my name. Tony. That's, uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? <sighs> Smiting the dragon mother? You tell us, kid. You are the chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is... hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. Straight to voicemail? Some Sorcerer Supreme. Must be mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Allow me. Alato. Whoa, what kind of network you run in there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges. Bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. We just call it the mirror table. Wanda! The dark force is pushing against the wards. Stephen, where are you? That's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. Wanda's in trouble. Wanda is trouble. I'll go. You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. Our hunt begins now. So, crazy day, huh? Crazy, indeed. Lots of new blood around here. Some seriously powerful headliners. Powerful, yes. But how powerful, we will see. Big personalities, too. I think you mean big egos. But none of that matters unless they can help us get to Wanda. You following me, Doc? Maybe you should go introduce yourself to the youngins. I'm sure they know of the Sorcerer Supreme, and I wasn't... With everything going on right now, we simply cannot afford to lose contact with the Sanctum.
even given the fluctuations in the astral spectrum, I should be seeing something. Unless Bruce is right about gamma interference. <laughs> if such a thing could even exist. Are you ready? The prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the Darkhold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. You are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? Ah, <sighs> fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time as Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. I understand the urgency. Your apprentice is in grave danger, yes? Wanda is no mere apprentice. She is the Scarlet Witch, one of the strongest magical practitioners I have encountered. But she hasn't channeled such power on her own since... Never mind. One crisis at a time. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. In any case, all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it still functions. About time? Not just about time, Mr. Brooks. Time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly, yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well, I'll just let her show you. So young, of course. You think this is crazy? Wait until you see Manhattan. From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet and beyond. We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor. So we've chosen a safe exit a few blocks over instead.
Well, at least we know the wards of protection are still in place. For now. I suggest we hurry. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. The spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here.
Even the best can get better. Maybe you should try something new. Now, that wasn't very nice. Wanda is calling out to me. I feel her struggle. I need to concentrate and... <gasps> and I won't be doing that again. in the light. I won't forget this. I fully intend to make this as miserable as possible for you, fair warning. Nothing to worry about. You were too weak for this fight. Still human, Hunter. Not Lilin. You were saying? The lifeblood of the Mother pumps through our veins. The Mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. What a bet. <laughs> Do I even want to know what that beast is? It calls itself Venom. Until now, a pale imitation of a very heroic young friend of mine. We were the top to the spider, we said. Marinate it in his stomach juices and eat it with his spleen.
are not holding back. We haven't quite broken their spirit yet. This house belongs to Mother now. As you belong to us. We shall start with your juicy entrails. Then, slowly sink. <laughs> Oppressing your mother's children so chatty. Thankfully, no. for Hydra. Pseudo. be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. Yes. Surrender. Be eaten. Fill our belly with your tasty fear. I shall fill your It's good in here. I'll put this to good use. Come get Still in my front.
soon we eat. was a vegetarian. left a residue. Search for wealth and power with just a tinge of fascism. Hmm. Hydra will never change. You are lucky to still be breathing. No mercy for the servants of Lilith. Strongest was no match for us. No escape from me, demon. Hold up. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. <laughs> Friendly. Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <coughs> Spider Man! Jeez, Eddie, what happened to you? That's part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but. Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. We will rip your face off and suck the pearl from your bones! Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? <laughs> Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares! <laughs> <laughs> 